Hello guys, it's B with Neo again here, I'm in a little trouble. I'm um, just going to do a quick video for you um, um, on um, raking out a set of code before you start hand stripping. I'm going to use Andy's Fine Tooth, the Shedding Rake. They are now available on Amazon um, in the UK as well. They are brilliant. Um, to start debulking the code to save your fingers and stripping. Uh, first, I always rake the code out to see what comes out. Uh, on some codes uh, that are really long and overgrown, you might find that the uh, normal on this, the shedding rake, um, sorry, this one's full of hair, uh, you could see the teeth difference. Um, that ignore the handles uh, because Andy's likes to change handles. So whatever you're buying, doesn't matter what handle, color or shape they are, um, everything depends on the teeth. Sometimes for the really overgrown lung codes, the normal rake uh, works better. So we're gonna use this one because I know on Nia's code, this one's not very good. He needs a fine tooth one. Um, so here we go. We've got him doing God knows what on a table. Let's have him sit. Right, let's sit near. We can face him that way. And um, you wanna stretch the skin really well. And we're just gonna rake uh, whatever comes out on a jacket. Head as well. He's got very little on his head, so nothing coming there. And then we are raking in the direction of hair growth. You can see how nicely it pulls all the hair and it really pulls the hair, it doesn't cut it. So don't be shy, um, rake out everything you can. We go down his back and uh, once I've raked out, and I keep raking, people ask me, how much do I do this? Well, you keep raking until you've got hair coming out. When you rake and nothing's getting caught in the rake, look how much comes out, see? And this, if I had to strip this by hand, my fingers would be really sore. I can tolerate two hour hand stripping with fingers. After that, my hands go numb, so I can't do any more. So by doing this, I'm really saving myself a lot of pain in my fingers uh, and cramps. So uh, a lot of code will come out on some more than others. Um, we've got, I know he needed a good strip because there's been a lot of hoovering needing to be done at home. Um, so I know he was long overdue. It's probably been quite a few months, at least three months since I've uh, plucked anything out of him. Here we go, he's coming out nicely. You can see he's already looking quite well. Now, Neil's now eight years old. He's been fully neutered for three years now. Um, before full castration, he had, for about two, two and a half years, he had chemical castration. Um, and that worked okay, but eventually just became too expensive and uh, not working as well, they were wearing out too quickly. So we went for a full castration since he was never gonna be showing a break. So he was still have hair coming, so we're gonna keep going. Up, yeah, up. Um, then we also, let's not see his butt, you could do a little bit there at the tail base uh, and down his bum. And then we want to do the thigh a uh, little bit on the sides here, although I tend to fine tune this area with fingers stripping and then a bit on the shoulder. Uh, you can also, for the ones with very hairy elbows, you can try, see if the rake, he's got some growing there, so some might come out, but really on the elbows we need See, very little comes out of elbows. That really needs fingers and so does the shoulder. But we can run a little bit down the sides here. And that takes a fair amount out. 
I tend to do this before bath. Um, uh, you can also then rake again after the bath if you think something's going to come out. And then fine tune, fine tune with hand stripping. So that's already looking a lot better. See, we got nice big bunch coming out. And like, I already got a big handful out and this was five minutes, barely five minutes. Uh, right, near turn, 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 good boy. Now we do the same on the other side. Down the neck, down the shoulder, this sort of triangle shape on the shoulder. See if we get anything out the elbows. He quite likes this because he, he loves a good back scratch. So uh, he doesn't mind the rake and he feels quite nice for him. Stay straight. lights coming out, see? He had a bath two days ago, so he's relatively clean, just a quick bath after a muddy walk. Um, that's why I thought I'll do this now. And then in the part two video, I'm gonna finish him off with some hand stripping. Um, so I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, hopefully within the next few days and then I'll uh, upload that as well. But for the, to start with, for those that have pet setters and want to just maintain a reasonable coat, if you haven't got a good groomer you can trust for hand stripping, um, you can just uh, break them out regularly, you'll know how often they need it done whether every month, whether every couple of months. If you give them a good rake, you will have half your work done. Here we go, look, he really enjoys that. Is that nice, baby? Oh, that's so nice, isn't it, Stum? It's lovely. There we go. See, it still keeps coming, so we keep going. There won't be much there now. That's probably about as much as the rake will take. There's plenty of coat that needs to be hand stripped with fingers. Uh, so we would do that as well. But at the moment, today, we're just gonna do this. And you want to rake out all the dead coat, if you know you have it there, if you check, because unless you remove all of this junk, um, the new coat underneath hasn't got a chance to come out and regrow. We go get rid of this dead stuff first. And they feel better as well. Um, once you rake them out, especially the very overgrown ones, they will feel a lot, lot better getting rid of the dead coat and the bulk. Um, and the coat will sit nicely flat and I only have very minimal work to do by hand. See, and that will probably be enough and the rest I would finish by hand stripping, which will be in a part two video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy this and it was helpful. If you can get hold of the rake, um, you can then uh, crack on with your own ones. It's uh, pretty easy and straightforward. Thanks guys, bye bye.